Greetings, welcome to the Mid-Missouri Kayak and Weather Report for August 2023. At 12.30 in the afternoon on Monday, August 28th, the temperature is 80 degrees with a predicted high of 82. Low to mid to high 80s through the week until 90s again next weekend. We had high 90s all of last week, 98, 99 degrees, a 100 degree day. In fact, we've had three of those this summer at least. Um, perfectly blue skies overhead and perfectly white clouds that are scattered. So, yes, it's really nice here on Binder Lake amongst these lily pads. And I am on Binder Lake because we are still in a drought. I drove by the launch on Merle River where I usually go and the ramp was out of the water. So, yes. Um, we had a good steady couple days rain about three weeks ago but then it was done and it didn't make a difference except for causing some flooding at the time yeah. yeah but we weren't here to appreciate that because we were traveling yes I have seen one turtle Canada geese one great blue heron which allowed me to get within 50 feet of it. It was on some lily pads in the middle of the lake on a, on a stump sticking out of the water. And it, I got some decent pictures, I think. And I also saw a couple of egrets, white herons. And the one allowed me to get within 40 feet of it, so I got some nice photos. And at the same spot by the lily pads and up against some reeds, some cattails, was a green heron sitting on a log, content to preen itself as I got within 30 feet and just snapped away. So I think I should have some good pictures of that too. Yeah, I have not seen any eagles. Plus this fellow here, I just spotted him paddling back. It's maybe an osprey. I'll have to take a closer look at the photos because it's kind of hard in the viewfinder. Right now he's probably about 40 feet away. I've seen one fishing boat and oh, there's a turtle about a hundred feet away. So I saw one turtle earlier and now there's another one. All of two. I saw one fisherman on a boat and I've seen two or three people on the shore fishing. Okay, so um, yeah, there was rain uh, two or three weeks ago, but we weren't here. We were traveling. We were in Wyoming. Uh, we drove there and back. We were left on the 1st, came back on the 10th, so we were gone 10 days, four days of driving, and six days there, six plus days there. And on the way back, I towed a trailer, a U-Haul 5x8 cargo trailer, and filled it up with stuffs and brought it home and it towed fine with the Maverick. Yes, it did. Um, averaged about 22 miles a gallon on the return trip, which is really pretty good. And um, actually that's an average because depending on the terrain, because there was one tank where I got 19 and it was hilly. And another one that I got 24 miles a gallon. So yeah, very happy with it. Maverick's been treating me fine. I've had it, we'll have had it I will have it five months in two weeks from now. It will be five months. It has its first scratch. Yes, and it is a deliberate scratch. It's deep. It's right down on the primer. It's got real sharp edges. So I'm figuring it's a key mark. It starts right at the edge of the passenger door. It goes about six inches into the um, rear quarter panel from the rear passenger door. Yeah, not happy about that. I'm taking it to a shop in two weeks to have that done under my insurance, but I don't know how many times I'll do that. I don't want to see my policies escalate. So yeah, but I'm very happy with it. And I'm driving around town, combining town and some highway, I get around 39 miles a gallon. If I'm just around town and I can stay in a spot where I don't have to keep climbing hills, I can get 50 miles a gallon. Yeah, hybrid. So I will be traveling again. 
Uh, in fact, I'm leaving tomorrow. Nope, I'm not leaving tomorrow. I'll take that back. I'm leaving in two days. I am driving to Buffalo for a week for a very special first birthday. So two days driving, three days visiting, and two days driving back. So I'll be gone a week. And that'll be nice to see everybody. I will be driving solo this time. So, uh, maybe I can write some poetry while I'm driving. Um, I have been writing. Um, the trip to Wyoming, I got, I don't know, at least, I think probably at least four poems out of that. Yeah, I've had um, five poems published in the last two months since the beginning of July. And yeah, I continue to write, and I've been doing open mics and readings. So, yeah, it's been fun keeping at it. Um, I have a new acquisition. I have two new acquisitions. They are, I am, I am the proud owner of two quilts by Margaret Fabrizio. Yes. One is titled Orange. It is 58 inches across. It is a circle. And it is a slice of orange with all the segments in quilts at all hand stitched. It is fantastic. It will hang on the wall in the living room above the stairs that lead down into the family room. Yeah, there's currently a large photo of a waterfall from Watkins Glen there and that's going to replace it. And then the other one is uh, I think it's probably 18 inches square, roughly square, and it is titled Here's Looking at You. It's all in blues, mostly blues, and in the center is a piece of fabric with an image of a peacock feather. So it looks like an eye. Now that's pretty cool. So for the orange, I had to make a eight-sided, an octagon frame. I did it, made it out of screen molding and cut the angles, patched it together. And uh, I've hung it on the wall just to see how, because it's going gonna, it's gonna to be putting it, Hanging that photo over the stairs was tough because I had to put a ladder, an extension ladder where I could extend one side down further on the stairs so I could reach up and hang that. So to make sure that this is going to work out, I've pinned it, and that's what I'll be using, um, push pins. And these are big push pins. So I've got some small ball clear push pins coming uh, from Amazon today. But I put it on the wall in the bedroom just to see what I have to do. And I could have gone larger on the octagon. I could have made each side an inch longer to get it closer to the perimeter because it's a little floppy. So what I'll do is I'll put some pieces on each of the sides so it'll look like a ship's wheel like spokes. And yes, that should give it some rigidity. Yeah, I'm looking forward to having that on the wall. I may not get it up until after the trip. Uh, we'll see how that goes. See if I want to break my neck before I go or when I get back on that ladder. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, that is that, and I am out of here. This has been your Mid Missouri Kayak and Weather Report for August 2023. Ciao, folks, and vlog on. <laughs>